Hello everyone, Lazar Killers here, and today we're gonna review some special edition sets from 2008. So it's not really a Kalista, it's not really a little set, it's a cross between the two because it, uh, in the box it includes one can one, no, can of canister set and one little set. And this one is which one and we can. So personally, because I don't like uh, subcategories and stuff like that, I just uh, put this in the Titan section, even if clearly it's not a Titan. But I do not like to have uh, subcategories, so for me, just little set, canister, and Titan set. That's all. Titan or wire set, it's the same for me also. Uh, yeah, maybe the Titan from 2008 are more uh, taller, like for example, uh, Max Loss or Takanova or Tomatanui, but that's other things, so yeah. I'm just passing it. And let's check the box of Mutant Invican because yes, it's a box and not a canister this time. So as you can see, it's all about the same as Kadanui because it was released in the first wave. So you got all the um, kind of purple, dark, black uh, background with the works and stuff like that. As this little uh, stuff, I don't really try to explain this shape right here, but it was also here on the normal canister. So biological right and big with some other logo. It's not the mystical logo, I think. Mutual and Vican, yes, it does, it's not written um, Fantoka this time, not Mystica, excuse me. It's not written Fantoka, it's just written Bionicle. Uh, yes, include two figures, so limited edition. Um, as you can see, you have the two uh, front poses of the characters and then combine it together because, of course, it's a matter one and a canister and it was used in 2008, so of course, it can link, the two can link together. And you can see, in fact, here you got Mutual, but in the background, you got Vican, which is in a uh, plastic cl glass, if I can say so, because in fact, you can put off the inner part of the box right here, and it will just show you uh, just Vican uh, put in some background right here. Of course, it's um, the yes, it is. Of course, when you put this like that, you have the two characters side by side and together. So quite a, a nice box, I think. It's very simple. So on the side, really nothing interesting. Uh, limited edition, the fact that there are two figures in the same box, uh, repeated tons of time, nothing on the other side. It clearly shows you the same thing as the front box, so the uh, link between the two, the fact that there are two characters, also the fact that his um, wing can kind of swing, or you can move them, it's really a little gimmick, it's really not a uh, a uh, ship gimmick because it's not really uh, interesting and it's just because of the parts used that it can turn so yeah nothing really interesting and also the uh, collectible of the year so the um, Trilax pod I think it's called like that which unleashed some uh, shadow liches and I think the shadow liches are more important to acknowledge than the Trilax pod but that's just for me and anyway you got the bigger code right here and also all the 12 uh, set with the parts of the first wave it does not count Toynica on it, but just the canisters and the little sets. And I think that's quite helpful for this box. So quite nice and quite interesting with the plastic glass on the front part. Uh, we're going to talk about the little, uh, yes, the instruction booklet. So this time it shows clearly uh, all the two characters in, um, not, uh, yeah, um, in full pose. So it does, it's not cut on the, um, on the legs this time. Of course, we got the, uh, um, Instruction for the two characters, and you got this image which is the same from the canisters from the first wave. The parts list on two pages, and then some ads for all the 12 sets. And yes, it's quite all here. And then again, some other ads to show you all the uh, the fact that they all can link together. So yeah. Well, uh, well, Lego emphasize uh, this little gimmick on the 2008 because it's everywhere on the instruction booklet and everywhere on the box. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the set because it's more important. So, of course, first we're going to talk about uh, Vican, the Makuto one. So, of course, a uh, Mato one from 2008. So, this means that it's got new, uh, the new famous part from 2008, the new blocky part. So, uh, I'm maybe just going to put this off and also this. We'll show you quickly how it works. Uh, yeah, so in fact, you got this frame, which is one of the two frames released in 2008 for the matter one. Uh, yeah, this is the one with the head in there, uh, and the shoulder are, are kind of um, on this, yes, on this height, and the 
uh, Nike is on uh, a low, lower height, if I can say so, that. So it's kind of special. Again, it's like Kiwa because it's in a reverse way, if I can say so, because you can see, normally the front of the part is here, but this time it used, they use the back as a part of the front. So this means that when you look on the uh, side, kind of hard, uh, it will make the uh, material uh, bend a little on the uh, front. I just try. Oh yeah, yeah, as you can see, the color, the color shame, excuse me, is black with some lime green and some uh, silver. And it will be the same for mutual, in fact, so yeah. Uh, so you got, this means four uh, material arms 90 degrees bended, as you can see. So, excuse me, they were also the same used on, uh, on um, Wad Jack. So, they kind of limited for inspiration, but they come in lime green and... I know, I think Tanma already released this in lime green, at least two of them. So anyway, nothing really new. Uh, so, in interesting new parts on this little matter on set, which uh, make him different from the other, are the fact that he used some kind of new weapon, so this time it's uh, some clothes right here, some new power clothes, but as you can see, new power Inika clothes, so, but as you can see, they are put on the inner, inner side here yeah, of the uh, connector right here, so this makes him uh, the articulation a kind of uh, block by the arm, to go to see, see that later. And also it got so, for the feet, it does not have the famous uh, cloud feet of the Mata one, which we also in 2008, but this time it got some old school only clothes in silver. It's kind of nice, even if also it's kind of limited on some articulation. Oh, and also, yeah, the connector, which are in lime green, still broke easily, uh, easily in 2008, so I've got tons of them, like, uh, at least uh, three or four uh, connectors in lime green broken, personally, and I don't really, uh, and I don't really play that much with my toys, or I just destroy them sometime, um, uh, yeah, to just disassemble the parts, yeah, to, to build some mark, not destroying them, like uh, breaking, that's not what I want to mean. It should be. So uh, now we're gonna put the wings, because you know all the matter one from the uh, bad uh, side, if you can see the bad uh, matter one, so the matter one used wings, uh, the good guy used jetpack, so here's the wing, but this time they are put on some uh, robot modified feet, which is the one which was released in Takadok, so this means that on this upper part, you've got an axle hole, and it's more wide also on this part of the piece, and here we go, it's right there. So I do not know, maybe just to put the wings in a more tighter uh, position, do not know. Then you've got the head, which is the same as the other matter one, and then we're going to put the mask, which is in fact the same as Kiwop, but with some uh, lime green we colored. Remember, Kiwop was mainly black with some silver fed, this time it's black with some lime green fed. And it's quite nice, I think, so no, no new part, but a nice new color. And it's the same also for... Um, which one, this means that it's got the mask of she works. But I may uh, talk about this later. So here we go, we have finished um, the can. So on the application section, it can turn, of course, in every uh, um, direction on the um, shoulder part. But on the end part, as I said earlier, it block at this point, it can turn because of the unique clothes here and also the arm, so it can turn. So of course, it can turn this like that, but that's not really interesting. Um, but yeah, you can still turn this, but it's broke at some point. And the legs, of course, uh, are which, because they are 90 degrees, it's broke at this point also. So yeah, because of the arm use, because the 90 degrees arm, this one, are really, I think, um, uh, bad ones for articulation, and because of the close air, it kind of badly articulated on some points, but it's still okay, and you can still do some pose. Also, the head can turn on the side, uh, and, on the, uh, and look up, not down. Or a little, depends on uh, depends on how you put it. So it is. I'm not gonna waste any more time on this little guy. I think you uh, you have already see uh, him. So it's kind of a mix between some odd parts, some um, key up, and also some uh, matter one from 2008, so yeah, but it's quite nice, I think it's okay, the color shame is pretty well done, just the articulation are kind of uh, bad in my opinion. So we're gonna talk about the uh, big guy in some way of this set, so the canister set itself, which is mutual, so we're gonna of course uh, disassemble it in two parts, the bottom part with the legs and the upper part with the hands and uh, the heads and stuff like that, with arms, uh, so here it is, so excuse me, um, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, of course the color shape is the same as I said earlier, so it's lime green, black and silver. Um, 
for the legs, in fact, there was no, nothing really new and interesting in this legs because uh, or you got some metro chest cover in silver, which is not really new, I think. Then you got some uh, metro pelvis in the, in lime green. Uh, I know it was released in uh, in Nocturne, which is kind of rare, and also maybe in some other set, but I think it's still quite rare in 2008. Uh, it was quite rare. No, it released in uh, Vastus, I think, also. But I do not think that in... Um, um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it was. I think in uh, Lesovic it was just some dark green. So this is kind of a war part. But I think if you uh, have uh, this part in lime green, you also need the arms of uh, legs in arm green, which are mo more kind of hard to find. Apart if you got Vastus or Nocturne. But that's all. So yeah, we'll just put a chest cover on this metal pelvis. Uh, you see the two pin right here, which will be useful to link, of course, with the uh, Mercutar body frame later. Then we got the legs and they are really nothing interesting so you got double long connectors some black rocky legs which are quite used uh, since this uh, i think yes they were already here in um in 2004 so nothing quite interesting and also yeah you got some akan uh, no excuse me wedak fit so the pure has fit ah uh, no 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 excuse me it's this one fit because it's a black and with some silver fade not uh, where that got some gold fed anyway. So yeah, it is, it's, there's nothing really new. It's really like a combo between some Wakshi and some Piwaka. But I think maybe the parts are aware. I think maybe they were released before in uh, Spinax, uh, which come of course with um, Maxilos. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know on this set, but I think uh, we don't see this quite often, this, uh, this part in silver. So anyway, it is, but it's pretty classic. The, the bottom part of the, of the set is pretty uh, nothing original. But in fact, the set itself is not really that original at all. It's just some kind of bulkier Makuta. We're gonna see, we're gonna see why later. But I think it will be pretty obvious when you see the upper part of the set. So I'm just gonna put off the weapon because, uh, yeah. And here we go. So it is, it's the upper part of the set, so of course it got the Makuta body frame, so this means this is the new body frame released in 2008. This allows, of course, to uh, store the three lakh pod in it, so of course it looks like that. So this big part with two budget, of course, for the arms. On the back, you got the L shaped part to put the button on it, I'm gonna put it. And then you got some all white here, some pin all, some pin all white there. So really a, a big part in some, uh, in some way. Then we're gonna put this whip cage right here, which is, can look also, uh, which also look like some clothes. So, gonna put this, it's in silver. It's like all Makuta, in fact, so it's really all the Makuta from the first wave, because the second wave, I think, they were just quicker, which got the same frame, and it does not use some true like spot. So anyway, as you can clearly see, if I push this part here, it open. So it's pretty nice, nice. We just have to put the true like spot, which is uh, uh, orange, trans orange pod, ball, as you can see. With some shape on it. Excuse me if it's really uh, bright, I think. Like this. And it contains some, should, like, some uh, shadow leeches. I'm gonna uh, show you later. So, uh, you're supposed to make him like a uh, well, uh, kind of up because if you just uh, press the button like this, it may not uh, destroy itself and it's supposed to destroy itself. So, I prefer to shoot him from a long distance, and here we go, it explodes and unleashes the four little, uh, two dax, uh, no, excuse me, the four sh shadow leeches, which are kind of nice, with little eyes, I don't know if we can really see well, and some little mouth, and on the back side, you got some axles, which can be useful, and it's also sort of soft, trans, uh, trans, yes, trans green, trans blue, plastic, um, which is the same as the squid from 2007. And there are some different colors, sometimes they are more green or more blue, it depends. It really depends, but you can buy them separately, so in fact, uh, it's not really uh, collectible at all. Even if there are some different shades, I think, of colors. You can find the color. So here, here we go for the body frame itself, so it's kind of okay. Then we go for the arms, which are in fact uh, the legs uh, two times more. So yeah, you know this... Uh, Lego uses sometimes, uh, for example, if you look at Copaca from the Calso, it uses the same technique, so they don't, so yeah, it doesn't that interesting. But yeah, there are some, still some difference on which one, because yeah, we got this, this part again, but it's got some claws, some end claws, so this, uh, made with the, uh, Montex claws, Montex claws, excuse me, and of course you can open this because it's on the, this part, which is one side, Pins on the side is an axle, so yeah, you can simply close this or do some ends, and of course, 
the gods, uh, well, little gimmick because it's some soft plastic, you can do that and close it by yourself with your fingers. So that's quite all, we're gonna talk about now the wings this time, uh, remember they were all different on the first uh, Makuta, uh, yeah, the first three Makuta from the first wave. So this time it's also different because it used these two parts, so this part with two pin holes and one axial on the opposite direction, like I said so, which, uh, and on which we're gonna put some uh, Shirox wings, which are also used on Vamp also, but it's the Shirox wing because they are black with some silver thread. And with this, of course, we've got two points of rotation, so you can turn this in some way, close them like that, and it's kind of nice. Then we have the head, with, which in fact is the um, metro head with the orange uh, brain eye combo parts. Of course, because it's uh, some axle, uh, I guess axle hole, put on some pin hole and then uh, it linked together with an axle, it makes the head move, so it's kind of um, annoying. You can mod this or tweak them just by putting some axle of four white ears and then some parts, some blue parts right here, like this one, the parts with one side axle, other side of the pin. You put this in there, and then with two parts, um, kind of like this one right here. You can see this little part with two axles. This one, but four times, um, but like, uh, uh, two times, twice, two times bigger, and with just two axles on the uh, side. Uh, excuse me, I think I'm gonna just show you how it, how it looks like. Excuse me. It will be more easy for those who want to tweak, uh, to tweak here the Makita. Of course, it can't launch, uh, some, uh, it can be hard to launch then the Trudex ball. So yeah, you have to use this part like that. And, uh, of course, you can put them through, so it will fully cover the two axle right there. And you put this like that on the back. And then the head will not move. Yeah, so that's quite all. And of course, Excuse me. The mask is uh, the same as she works. I said earlier, but this time with some lime green thread. Thread, excuse me. Yes, yeah, so there we go with uh, the weapon. The, we have the kind of weapon, the blade. So it's kind of a spear, you can clearly see. It's pretty simple, made with an Uki uh, blade and some Maruto and daggers. But I think it's quite nice. I love the shape of this part. We may near the Scarabag part, so we're gonna just put this on the all right there, and of course, it stands perfectly, I think you can, of course, put some uh, some of the clothes right there to make, to hold it firmly. And then we're gonna add this part, which is kind of like uh, the Yuki uh, Maui blade, uh, this time really simple. So yeah, it was, this part uh, will be really used tons of time, and just in the simplest way possible, so this means, uh, sometimes it will just be uh, put like that like, as a weapon, and it's kind of... Um, Bad, it's kind of a shame because it's a, it's an interesting weapon. Every, even if the design is really, uh, you can really put this everywhere. This is not really a specific design, but they, really, I think they use it too much, in my my opinion. So we're gonna put this like that. So of course, uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, here we go. And we're gonna finally put the bottom part, and we're gonna talk about the articulation, and then I'm gonna do a sum up on this set and conclude my review. So excuse me if this part of the construction takes some uh, time. So I'm gonna do just a little turn around of the set to show clearly how it works, but it's really a Makuta, and as I've said, okay, and as I said earlier, uh, it's really a big armored Makuta because of all these silver shiny parts and uh, it's big closed. So yeah, so yeah, for the part itself, so the arms, excuse me, the arms can move in every direction on the shoulder section, of course, and the elbow part is blocked at 90 degrees because I think of this part right here. Uh, the hands can move pretty well, of course the two claws can rotate on this side. Uh, it's the same for the second arm, of course, so it's black and the with on the elbow section. Then for the head, it can look down, up, on the side. Uh, for the wings, it's nice because you can rotate in two different directions, so you can close them like that, or just uh, move them, for example, you can make this like that, this part. So it's kind of well, so two points of articulation right here, so two points of rotation. Of course, a gimmick uh, which features the uh, whip cage, which can be opened. Uh, and then we got the legs, and of course, they are pretty much more articulated because this time the, uh, put, uh, the tight armor is there and not in there. So in fact, we can do this all the way you want. So yeah, you can, so yeah, in fact, it's, yeah, it's, I think it's your average articulation, in fact, it's not really, 
I mean, you've got some arms at 90 degrees, uh, de at 90 degrees, and the feet and the legs are pretty perfect. So yes, there's nothing really new. Try to do some pose, a kind of awkward pose, but yeah, I, don't know, I think it's it's quite okay. So anyway, I think that's quite all for this set. So I'm gonna put on. Uh, oh yeah, now maybe I'm first gonna do gonna have to put on some just to show you how it works. So I'm gonna maybe make swing it up. So yeah, the link between the two uh, guys. Pretty simple. You put this. Oh, okay, it's for first. It's not really a problem. And here we go. So of course you're supposed to, yeah, to make this like that, or to move the arms and stuff like that to make it the perfect position possible. And here we go. So it's quite nice, I think. It's uh, yeah, it's it works well. It's not really that impressive or, or, or all, but it's uh, it works, so it's okay. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this uh, type of stuff because yeah. yeah do not know why. It's quite interesting stuff and uh, nice marketing strategies to make uh, you buy the little set with the canister, but uh, still, uh, it's not really that. Uh, so I'm going to try to, again to this pose. So yes, in fact, so yeah, it, 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 the fact that they can be linked together is interesting. It's also used in the story because remember, uh, when they are linked, the toy and Matawan share the memories, I think. And also, uh, for the marketer, of course, they become blind when they enter in Kadanui, if I remember correctly, so they need the matter one as eyes. And for, yeah, for Mutual, uh, in fact, is kind of a mad uh, marketer scientist, yeah. Kind of hard, because for me, the scientists are more like film guy and stuff like that, but this, this one is big, more armored and with more weapons than the average Makuta, so do not, uh, kind of hard to think that he's a mad scientist at all, but still. And there we go, so to sum up, for the little set, in fact, it's quite nice, not original at all, but still you got some new interesting parts, uh, or at least some uh, nice parts, uh, nice designed parts, but in fact, uh, the articulations are quite weak, as you have seen uh, it um, before, so there are some flaws on the articulation section, and also on the originality section, but it's not really that original, uh, in, in fact. Uh, then we got Mutuan. Uh, which one, yes, we got also some problems on the arms articulation section, of course the head move, but that's the case for all the Makuta from the first wave. Um, and apart from that, um, I don't see any new bag here, it's not, really, it's not also that impressive, because it does, not bring, it does not bring any new parts. In fact, these two guys just passed some interesting colors with the mask, and also all the ones, some shiny, uh, shiny, excuse me, shiny uh, silver parts, will be, I think, happy because he's still got like six Montag slows, tons of little blades and stuff like that, this pure contact armor, so yeah, for those one shiny parts, I think it might be an interesting set if you look for this uh, shiny parts in this particular, for example, if you need Montag's uh, uh, clothes, I think this is one of the sets you must possess, just for the parts pack section, of course, and there's also parts, in fact, are pretty classical, so yeah, some work she likes, which are used really often, often, excuse me, in Titan set or even in some other set, I think. But majorly in Titan set, I think, yes, they were used in, uh, in Wudaka and stuff like that in, uh, New York. So, yeah, some, uh, Pioca Club, which were also used before in some, uh, in some Titan sets. So nothing really new or interesting. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really have any drawback, but in fact it doesn't really have any cons, apart from the fact that I especially like the wings, and also they quite did, uh, did a good job with the bulky aspect, I think, because yeah, he really did uh, um, look bulky with his two weapons. Uh, the, two, uh, the two blades, yes, kind of look, uh, the okay, my the, uh this cutter, or this, uh, yeah, this knife, is maybe kind of too big, it's kind of okay, maybe, yeah, maybe it's, it's too, um... It's got too much weapon, I do not know, but but still. Maybe, yeah, so in fact you can just trick your model and put off one of his uh, blades. So I like this, so I like the wings and I like the bulky aspects done to this guy, so yeah, he really looks bulkier than the other Makuta in my opinion. So yeah, in fact, that's a quite uh, nice set, but it's nothing really you have to uh, remember, it's really a forgettable set if you can say so, because yeah, it's a special edition, okay, you got two sets in the same box for a nice price, so that's kind of a, a good deal, but apart from that, apart if you look for the character especially, 
a party if you look for some shiny, shiny parts on some bulky or mat makuta, uh, yeah, it's not really that interesting apart from maybe the truly colored mask that I said earlier. But I think that's quite all, and I really hope to have made your own opinion on this two little guys. So they are okay, but they are not really that memorable at all. So yeah, some your average bionicle set with some recolored new parts, some interesting parts, but nothing that um, that will I think uh, make you really love him or just uh, it's not really it's not a must have. Definitely, it's not a must have. Yeah, so I think it's all up to you again, but of course, for, if it was your first set in the Bionicle universe, of course you have the the nostalgic factor, but that's another the nostalgic fact, yeah, so that's, that's another stuff. So anyway, I hope you'll enjoy this review, and uh, I think that's all, so see you later for another Bionicle video review. Bye-bye!